today with another deck review today we will be reviewing the if an octopus could palm v2 by dan and dave this deck i'm the most excited to review because of how rare and elusive it is i know many people won't be opening this deck so i guess i'll be the one who's gonna open it for you guys on video from what we know so far you can only get this from a mystery deck or in the future you can get it with the if an octopus could palm book when it gets released so I think this deck will stay elusive. So let's get into the review. This deck has a matte finish. The front features the name of the deck, If an Octopus Could Palm, in gold foiled embossing, with some of the writing going around the character in the middle. It features an octopus wearing a top hat and a suit and slacks and shoes. He's got eight arms going around the entire front with the hands all holding cards or doing slides. I'm going to assume some of the moves are moves you'll learn in the book. The back is interesting. The back is an open cut back so you can see the back design of the deck. The sides and top of the deck are empty, and the bottom of the deck features the Buck Twins logo with a gold foiled embossing as well. The flap of the deck says Copyright 2020 by Dan and Dave, cover illustration by Jonathan Burden. So the back design, it's definitely very unique. I really like it. It seems like a close up of some kind of material, and I feel like it's a close up of the suits material that the octopuses wear on the front. That's just what it looks like, I might be wrong, but behind the material also looks like the color of the box. The first ad card features the Buck Twins logo, and the second is the same as the front of the tuck case. The two gaff cards included are a double backer and a blank card. I'll link a video teaching a trick you can do with a blank card on the screen. The Ace of Spades is just a standard spade that would be on a card like the Two of Spades, but it's blown up with the text of the DND Playing Card Company right under it. The rest of the Aces are standard. The quartz are standard, but follow a desaturated cyan red and yellow color palette. As well as the red color throughout the deck, it is desaturated red. Aside from the design of the deck, this deck feels amazing. I'm sure it's printed by USPCC, and if you actually open it, you'll see that this deck is a great worker deck or for cardistry. The back design isn't too crazy, so you can pull it off performing magic with it, and people won't bat an eye. The deck fans and spreads smoothly. Great springs come out of it. The deck is very thin as well. Overall, it's amazing for the three main things that I talk about. Cardistry, magic, and collection. The tuck case is phenomenal, and Jonathan Burden made an amazing illustration. I honestly can't wait for the book to come out so I can use this deck to learn all the moves in it. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and hit that bell if you want to stay tuned and see more reviews in the future. So comment down below if you guys plan on opening this deck if you get it, whether it's from the mystery decks or if it's when the book releases. So see you guys. Peace.